Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back today to record another video for you guys. Um, the topic of today's reading is what's going to lift your mood. So I'm looking at, um, and I lit out, out of spread already, um, and actually I recorded already, um, but um, the video like if I go t like 10 minutes oh, oh, like on my cell phone it won't like it, it just kind of corrupts it I don't know so I had to delete it and start again um and I have decided those of you who want to see like the extended reading um is going to be over on IG after I post this on YouTube so I'm recording for this is going to be for YouTube the first part and then if you guys want to see like the extended that's all going to be over on IG um, before I get started, I do want to say a big thank you to everybody who has been very kind and donated. Um, I am going to leave all the information in the description box as well as in the comments if you'd like to donate. Um, I have been through a lot in the last 10 months and I'm trying to rebuild my life. So all donations go towards, uh, rebuilding my life and getting back on my feet and, uh, all the things that I'm going to need for that. So, um, you know, I just want to say thank you to all of my regulars. Thank you for everybody who's donated. And I'm just really grateful that, um, to be here recording. Um, I want to remind everybody that all of these videos are still free because, uh, YouTube has still not given me the ability to make income from Google ads. So, um, if you know, you contribute by donating, that really helps, uh, me continue to, to record these and stay motivated. And I'm just really grateful for everybody who has. Um, so yeah, so like this is inspired because lately I felt like shifting energy and shifting moods and I had to eat some brownies <laughs> and I was like, you know, I really want to just look to see like what's going to help lighten the mood for everybody that's watching. This is a collective reading um, and yeah, I'm just going to jump in. So one of the first messages was we've got the Knight of Cups here and the Knight of Cups, I noticed there's all this water. And some of you really need to increase your water intake. Like, I I tell everybody to, to drink distilled water. Go out and buy a gallon of distilled water. Um, especially people who suffer from dehydration. Um, I managed to go for three years in 110 degree uh, weather without air conditioning. And the way I did it was I drank distilled water. If I drank water that wasn't distilled, I would st still feel dehydrated. So for some of you, you may also want to uh, increase your electrolytes. There's there's a whole bunch of different things you can buy online, supplements that have electrolytes. So some of you may want to do that. I also wanted to say that those of you who are, uh, you know, having alcohol, you may want to increase your water intake to kind of counter counterbalance that. Uh, those of you also at this time may kind of crave salty foods. You, you may want to just uh, increase your your hydration level and water water intake. Um, so that was like the first message, the first thing that came through. Um, I also got this interesting message about um, from from this this chariot card um, from the clouds here. And the thing about this is that there's something very soft about the clouds and the way they look to me. And some of you do need to do things that are soft, meaning listen to soft music, um, maybe buy some very soft blankets, um, spend an extra few minutes in bed um, just resting. Um, some of you need to like approach things in a softer way. Listen to, like I said, some soft music, some soft ambiance music, um, you know, avoid crowds, avoid, you know, um, like, you know, any high intensity kind of things where like you're, there's high intensity people or there's just a lot of noises. You may be sensitive to noise at this time. So you're going to need more rest and you're going to need more sleep. Um, those of you who are not sleeping well, you're going to maybe invest in like a sound machine or invest in something like a, like a weighted blanket or like a heavy quilt, um, or something that's going to really increase your sleep. Maybe 
redo your sheets, get a new bed mattress or bed, um, and really overhaul your sleep. Uh, I'm definitely seeing that here. The other thing too, is some of you need to start dreaming. Like you need to start thinking about the future in positive terms. It's going to help really change your perspective, lift your mood into a positive, you know, frame of mind. So you're going to want to write out your goals and start thinking about things in, in a positive way of like thinking, okay, that it is pos possible to achieve the things that you want to achieve. Um, I also feel like some of you, there's the water again here. I'm showing, getting shown water. May want to um, do more clearing with regards to your energy. And I do recommend a salt shower or a shower using baking soda. Everybody gives me shit about me suggesting this, but this is like the best thing to help clear your, your energy. Um, I also am seeing the unicorn horn here. And to me, this is again, spiritual clearing. And when you, when you use salt and baking soda, it helps clear your spiritual energy as well. So it's not just your physical body, it's your spiritual energy. So some of you may also want to go to the ocean um, the ocean has the salt in it naturally, so it helps uh, reduce negative ions, and that is uh, part of the clearing that's necessary. I also see cleaning your space. It's going to lift your mood if your space is more clear. If you've got a lot of chaos in your space or a lot of things in your space, you might, may want to declutter as well. Um, but I definitely see going to like a river or a pond when I lived in... Um, Fairfax, Virginia, I, there was this little pond that I love to go to and it was like a little retreat for me. So some of you need to do something like that, like either create a safe space for yourself or clear space for yourself or make sure you're taking time to retreat from the world. Um, I can't lift this card. Why am I not lifting this card? The two swords. Okay. So we have this message, interesting message here with the hummingbird and the heart. And this is going to sound interesting, but some of you, especially those of you who have like struggled in romance or struggled in love, I definitely feel like, um, you need to have more love in your life. And so this is like maybe shifting your outlook on love or shifting your perspective as far as as far as love, because um, it's going to lift your mood and going on a, a new date or meeting somebody new. Um, you can pick people up. Oh, I, I was picked up at the drugstore once. Um, I picked somebody up at the coffee shop. I picked a couple people up at the coffee shop. So those of you who are dating, you meet people all the time. People ask me, well, how am I supposed to meet somebody? I'm like, well, you can meet people all the time. You just have to talk to them, you know? And so some of you, who those of you who are shy, this is necessary to lift your mood, um, being focused again on romance in your life. Um, if you don't have romance in your life or for some, this is starting fresh in a relationship. Um, we have the 10 of wands here and this to me was, a, is really a card about asking for help, having people, uh, assist you in some way. And I wanted to make sure I said this because this is very important. People gave me a lot of shit for asking for donations, despite the fact that all my work has been free, uh, without Google ads this entire time for 10 months of living out of my car. People gave me shit for asking for what I needed. And I want to tell you not to let anybody do that to you, not to let anybody shame you for asking. Uh, remember your worth, stand up strong, ask for, ask for more, um, ask for assistance, make sure you're utilizing your resources. I don't care if it's asking somebody to help with a t opening a tomato jar or you're asking for help with a bill. Um, be sure to ask for help because, you know, I did meet a lot of beautiful people. And there's, there's been beautiful people that have helped me along my, along my way. And I, and I'm really grateful to those people. And you'll learn that it's, there's no shame in asking. So that's important. Um, I do need to leave off here. Thank you so much, guys. I send everyone big hugs and big kisses. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Okay, take care. Bye, guys.